Hi, we're here at Oracle Day in the Netherlands in Nieuwegein. And I'm here with Andrew Sutherland. You're the Senior Vice President for Technology and Systems for EMEA. For my sins. <laughs> yeah, and, and for, for Asia as well, That's even, right. even, That's even, right. even China. And you had a really inspiring Thank keynote. You very much indeed. Yeah. It comes from the heart. And it, it was from the heart, but yeah. it's about the autonomous world That's and right. how the world becomes autonomous. That's right. If we look to businesses, what do you see, let's say, with technologies like artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. how do they impact the businesses from an autonomous perspective? You know, I think they're going to, to impact almost all organizations and almost all aspects of the business. That's what I think is so interesting. It's not having artificial intelligence over here, you know, in a, in a, in a separate department, a separate group. Uh, let's go to the big, you know, Wizard of Oz machine and get, get the decision. It's going to be embedded right through the business. Almost anywhere where there is a decision being made, most of the time decisions are being made on the basis of experience and knowledge and what happened before, that didn't work well, that did. Nine people out of ten of our gold card holders won't react well to this, they do react well to that. Wherever there is a decision being made that could benefit from an almost infinite memory of the past mm -hmm. and, a, and a pattern recognition. So it's going to be all aspects, supply chain management, HCA or human capital management, obviously customer experience, you name it, it's impacted. And if you then look in the IT environment, how is oh. this impacted? Can you give a nice example? I can, and I rather like this as somebody from IT, mm -hmm. you know, physician heal thyself. What about applying our own technology to our own problems, not just other people's? Yeah. We, we've got an awful lot of uh, person power required in IT these days just to keep things going. Wouldn't it be smart if we can actually use our own technology to make the data look after itself? It should be saying to us, here I am, use me as you wish, I'll secure myself and look after myself. And that's called the Autonomous Database. We've got a, a book about it here. You can, uh, it's called For Dummies, so I'm sure nobody watching will actually want to read this themselves, but you may know somebody uh, who's a dummy that needs to know this. Maybe get a bit of a look on the way as well. That describes IT being applied, or sorry, AI being applied to IT. Perfect. And if you look from a business perspective or department perspective, where do you expect in the near future which departments and which businesses yeah. become an autonomous? You know, I would have said, I think customer experience is, is, is one. So you can start always recommending the right pattern of behaviors or leading to the right offer. It's almost too obvious. I think some of the more attractive ones that I, I'm starting to see now are in large scale logistics mm -hmm. organizations. So there as an industry is, is really starting to benefit from this. And perhaps the most surprising one is HR, human, human, or human capital, human yeah. resources, yeah. and using artificial intelligence to help us um, make sure that we manage our most, still, our most valuable resource, in, even in the world of artificial intelligence, our people. Andrew, thanks a lot Real pleasure. for explaining how AI is going to augment our people. Perfect word. And I think that's the way how we're going to use technology that's in the near future. Word. Thanks a lot for watching here from Nieuwegein in the Netherlands at Oracle Cloud Day. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.